Listen. We know from the information you recovered from the Vahar system that the Tal Shah are planning to attack a Riemann settlement in the Dera system. We have an opportunity to reach the settlement first. I want you to go to the Dera system and learn more about the Riemann uprising. The Riemanns will have hidden their base, so you may have to use subterfuge to find it. I suspect that this affair is more than simple squabbling. The Tal Shiar either have something to gain from persecuting the Riemanns, or they are under orders to do so. I want to know which it is. Okay. So we have fresh orders. Begin frozen. Commander, the Remans are jamming our senses and there's no way of determining where the base is located without assistance. We need a guide. Sensors are picking up a communication satellite nearby. We should be able to modify it to emit a signal the Remans will think is from one of their ships. When the Remans send someone to investigate the signal, we can get a sensor lock on their ship and follow them back to their base. Well, that sounds a simple enough plan. What could possibly go wrong? There's sensor, uh, sorry, the communication array, and I also see something beyond it. Magnesite, of course, is what they were digging on Pfeiffer. It's moon. Right, back to the communication array. Alter array. Modifications are complete. Commander, when we trigger the transmission, the Remans should think it's from a vessel that's losing power and needs assistance. Micro, uh, micro after our location, it should be sufficient to conceal the Garuga's energy signature while we wait for our Reman guide to arrive and we'll go to cloak as well they're pretty good at cloaking the uh, Romulans and Riemann so they might know that we're here send the signal so our ship has arrived Raymond's ship scout ship is moving to scan Sensor lock confirmed, we should be able to track them when they go to war. Oh, Roman battleship decloaking. They're firing on the Riemann ship. Ship scout ship's weapons and engines are damaged, they're cloaking, attempting to re establish sensor lock. Captain, the Riemann ship has cloaked, but its engines are damaged and sensors are detecting a hacking link. We can't stay hidden for they can't stay hidden for long. We should attack the Telshar ships, so when we destroy them, the Riemanns will be able to escape. They'll lead us straight out to their base. Okay, let's go. We should be able to take a battle cruiser. Uh, incoming hail from the lead rail meal and vessel they have detected us don't think it, they're on the, the spatats uh, we'll say anything uh, we want to hear but they are insisting on speaking with you captain putting it on the main view screen now oh, you're a good distance out of your empire's territory aren't you I know it's probably useless to expect someone like you to be civilized about this but I wish to avoid unnecessary bloodshed Offer no aid or assistance to these Riemann rebels, and leave this system immediately. If you do so, I can overlook your intrusion into an internal affair. Otherwise, I will be forced to see your presence as an invasion of Romulan territory. Ineffectively. That would be unfortunate. Right. Uh, 
like I said, they thought it would be unfortunate for us. It turned out to be unfortunate for them. Raymond Scout. They're trying to shake us. We need to stay as close to keep up. Right. So. Oh, we've got more skills to purchase. You'll be lucky to shake us. We're built for this. No, we're not even using close to full power. Ship has executed a short warp jump. I have a lock on its coordinates, so we can engage warp as soon as you're ready. Is there anything to loot? No. Follow the Riemann scale. Oh, there was. Never mind. Not picking up any ships here, Commander. I, I wouldn't be surprised if there one or two, uh, more, one or more cloak ships in the area. Beaming cloaks uh, ships can appear as concentration of detector on particles. I will continue scanning the lit area. There is, however, uh, there is something interesting on the ships on the planet's surface. However, sensors are detecting a large underground installation. It could very well be a base. Uh, or the base that the Riemann resistance is using. The entire area is protected by a magnetic shield though so we can't uh, transport inside. There is a series of caverns connected to the installation. We could send a team there and try and find a way to disable or circumvent the magnetic shield. Okay, uh, let's beam down. I'm gonna leave our first officer here and take the new woman. Snish. Snish. And might regret this. Right, Commander, this is incredible. The underground cavern we're in is natural, but the base itself is a ship. The Didirex class, uh, if my tricorder readings are, are correct, the Remans moved a derelict vessel into the cavern. Uh, there will appear to be a maintenance area adjacent to the hull of the ship. The Remans probably mine the of me. These tunnels are for raw materials. I'm picking up multiple veins of ore that could be useful if they are re replicating ship parts or weapons. I'm not reading any way into the ship from here, though we need to find an entrance. Mature Jackal Mastiff. Right. Late there. No, that's not mine. Uh, 
Earl Grey tea, eh? This tunnel leads directly into the main area of the base server and it's completely blocked. I wonder if a weapon on its highest setting would breach it. Scan the grate to continue. Right, scan grate. This gate is made of titanium alloy, Commander. There's no way a hand weapon will blast through it. You need something with a lot more power, that is. That's it. So, did you see the mining laser? If it's operational, we might be able to modify it to do the job. I think the controls for the laser were on the other side of this wall. I also saw something to loot. Here we are. Use mining laser. Malfunction engaging automatic shutdown. Not particularly usable. Something must be wrong with the lining laser, sir. Should perform a more detailed scan to determine the source of its problems. Oh. Scan mining laser. Uh, the mining laser's power system isn't strong enough. Won't be able to cut through the titanium. I think there are several ways we can fix that this your career training will help. Tactical. Applied a tactics instructor always told you that you'd use whatever was available to get the job done. You think uh, you could use several hand weapon power cells to boost the output of the mining laser. Klingon weapons aren't compatible, but the Remans might have left something suitable in the cave. Uh, if they uh, did, then they were being a bit silly. Not seeing anything in there. There's triggers. Whoa, we Careful with that auto weapon. Anything in here? Oh, there's something. Collect power packs. One of three. Here's another one. Two of three. So not seeing anything there. Anything in here? Yeah, I can see something around the back there. More spiders! left some weapons there. Right. 
You have all the power cells you need, but before you can use the, to boost the output of the mining laser, you'll need to fuse them uh, together and install a single control unit strong enough to handle the burst of power without burning out. There's a lab that we did see. And that's where we first saw those. In fact, it's right here. Place the power packs on the lab. Fuse power packs using the console. Take fuse power packs. Combined power packs are ready to use. All you need to do is install it in the mining laser and cross your fingers. Because it was a back of a fag packet calculation anyway, so. Fine mining laser. You must use those points. That did it power to the mining it's steady and it should be ready to fire. Use the control panel to operate the mining laser. Right, the control panel was around this side. But now it's over there. Right, use mining laser. Seems to have done the trick. Right. Success. The path to inside the Rehm and base is clear, Commander. The Remans will be alerted to our presence, so we'll need to be careful. I have a feeling Obisek wants to see us. Continue. Right. Let's get these. So around. I thought as much, because I saw that we were on 26. And at 25, we would have got a... Uh, Damage with the weapons. Get back in space. Um, critical damage and critical chance. Right, so let's go in. I know we've used a mining laser to open the way, but let's try and be friendly as much as possible. So, holster the weapon. Oh, well, there's no weapons pointed in our faces. Perhaps we should have not. <laughs> oh, somebody wants to talk. Why are you here, outsider? Tell me about your life here. The nights are cold. And there's not enough food. It is a place like any other. For now we are safe from the Tashiar. And I fear that will soon change. Why are you fighting the Romulans? My wife was working on a mining ship. This was not a military vessel. It had no weapons and limited shields. It was not in restricted space, and it threatened no one. The Tal Shi'ar captured it, and questioned everyone on the crew for weeks. My wife died screaming in a Tal Shi'ar interrogation chamber. I fight for her. What do you want when this conflict ends? What do I want? I cannot answer that question. All I wanted, all I will ever want, Died with my wife. Okay. Thought you wanted to talk. Yeah, you do. Why do you? Uh, what do you? Want? I will answer or won't. I won't. Why do you follow? Obisek has a vision. He wants all humans to be free from Romulan oppression. He wants us to have a world of our own not to have to beg for scraps from the Romulans' tables. Obasek will lead us to victory. I, for one, am happy to fight at his side. 
Other people here aren't happy with our oversex leadership? Many of the people here have lost family members to the Tall Shi'ar. It's hard to be happy about anything when all you're thinking about is what you don't have. Uh, what do you want out of this war? I want out. I will fight by Obasek's side until we are free. But then, I want to explore. I've had enough of despair. There are hundreds of ships that need a capable warrior. I will find one of them, leave this space, and never look back. Perhaps I will join the crew of a Starfleet vessel. <laughs> okay. Right. Interesting change of the voice from Starfleet to what's written down Klingon. Right. Exit. This is remarkable. Remans must have disabled an old ship, beamed to pieces in the air one at a time to construct it. Here's somebody else, or is it? You're not wanted here, outsider. Why don't you want us here? Obasek says we must trust you. He says we need allies, and that you have gained the respect of the Klingon Empire. I am wary of the Klingon Empire, for they have always been our enemies. But I am willing to trust that you will look to the mutual interest of all our kind. Why do you think Hobisek is wrong? I am old, and I have seen much. I fought with Shinsan, and he was obsessed with outsiders. He risked everything in a useless attack on the Federation. If he had thought more about our people and less about his hatred for humans, we would control the Empire today. Instead, we have nothing. This is what comes from dealing with outsiders. Well, you can't argue with that logic. What do you want? I want peace and I want quiet. All of my friends and family are dead dead. I have no stake in this rebellion. I fight because that is all I know how to do. But this battle is my last. When it is over, I will find some place dark. And I will stay there for the rest of my days. Okay. Ah, door. This place won't be safe forever. We have to be ready to leave at a moment's notice. Prepare the... Ah, it's you. Welcome to the heart of the Resistance, little spy. There is so much for us to discuss, and so little time. The Tal Shiar have discovered this, our last refuge. They will be here soon, and my people and I will have to fight for our lives. Yet one question remains. Will you be our friend? Or our enemy. Ooh, thank you for the follow. That's yours. Definitely a kapow. Yes. Well done. Thank you. Thank you for joining us. I hope you uh, like uh, Star Trek Online. And if you're not, I hope you're liking the stream anyway. Thank you for the follow. Confront Obisek. My hope is that you are here to talk, but I am prepared for the alternative. Right. The Tal Shiar could arrive at any time. Speak quickly. Why are you doing this? Why fight the Tal Shiar? Why? You ask why? This place is one of the last sanctuaries left to my people, and even it is lost to us now. The Romulans have driven us from our homes, destroyed our ships, and captured or killed our loved ones. They seek to exterminate us, and we will not go quietly. Understand, I do not want this war. I want freedom for my people. It is the Romulans and the Dark Masters they serve who have caused this. Now they must suffer the consequences. Is there anything else you wish to ask? Did Sailor order these attacks? This campaign of terror is the Tal Shiar's doing, not the Empress's. Still... Sila does nothing to stop it. There is little love between the Empress and the Tal Shiar. 
Did you know that many years ago, she was exiled from Romulus for attempting to assassinate the head of their order? The Tal Shiar have their own masters, and Sila despises what she cannot control. Is there anything else you wish to ask? Why do you think the Tal Shiar are doing this? Hakiv and the Tal Shiar no longer serve the Empire. The demons of air and darkness are their masters now. They whisper in the night for chaos and despair, and Hakiv gives them blood as tribute. Our blood. Is there anything else you wish to ask? You still have the Thalon weapons. A small supply. They are terrible things. Weapons of war so horrible, they should have never been invented at all. But they were. And my enemies are great. If I must resort to barbarism to free my people, that is not too high of a price to pay. I have problems with that. Is there anything else you wish to ask? Tell me more about these demons you speak of. I have never seen one of these demons, and I will not speak their name, but I know they exist. Eons ago, they ruled this part of the galaxy. After thousands of years of tyranny and death, the races they ruled rose up against them, driving them from their home world into unexplored space. We thought they had been destroyed. We were wrong. The demons of air and darkness survive. And they hunger for revenge. Right. Is there anything else you wish to ask? What do you want of me? We need your help. Go to the High Council. Tell them what you have seen. Tell them if my people are to survive, we need assistance. Starships, soldiers, weapons, protection for the refugees. I'm asking for the Empire's aid. You are an honorable warrior. I too am a warrior. And I believe my fight is just. Will you join the battle at my side? Is there anything else you wish to ask? Right, so we have two options here. We can ask them to surrender, which I suspect will lead to a major fight. Or we can... I, I, yeah, I, that one definitely sums up where I feel. Um, I... Did, but the sailor on weapons, I just don't want him to use it. Let's go with... I am glad you see things my way. Get instructions from your commanders if you must, but the battle rages and we must join it. With your help, my people will be free. I'm pleased you see that my cause is just. We can do great... Sir. Romulan transporter signals detected. The Tal Shiar have entered the base. Start the evacuation. We must get the civilians out. Commander Roshna, transport the reinforcements here. Tell them to assist our new ally. I will return to my ship and attempt to hold off their forces. Help my soldiers defend this base. Fight well, my friend. My people are counting on you. Commander, we lost the transport. on you. <laughs> On your way team, Tashana Stack Fred is transport inhibitor. We're being shot at. What are we Who was shooting us? I thought we were safe in here. Burning gas. Again, no. Right. Aha! Of a chance. Right.
Okay, so there is, right? People. Right. Let's just clear what we can of the base of, the, of uh, Dalshiar before we beam up. Because we do it. Had casualties as well. But so that's clear. Presumably they've cleared. With that's clear. So this half of the base is clear. What about the others? Petroleum gas. Looks like we have taken out the commandos. Good. Right, let's get out of here. We've done what we said we would, which was help defend the base until the civilians got clear. The Remans beg for our assistance, but offer no fealty in return. Ubisek whispers about demons of air and darkness, but offers no proof of their existence. Outrageous! The Remans have been slaves for too long to be warriors now. If they would ally with us to crush Sela and her ships, we could conquer the entire region in a matter of months! There is nothing for us to gain by joining his fight, and there is no honor in Obasek's tactics. I will consider the situation, but I must have a good reason to recommend this action to the High Council. As of now, that reason does not exist. All right, so. Rewards. Congratulations, Commander. Ask John Pop, perhaps he'll want to help uh, Obisek. I will speak to the Chancellor, but I already know what he will say. We will not fight at Obisek's side. Not yet. There is little to gain by openly attacking the Romulans, and no proof to Obisek's claims that some hidden entity is directing Hakeem. I would dismiss the entire thing as a childish fantasy. But, have you fought the Fekiri? Yes. There are terrible things lurking in the dark. I have seen them. Perhaps Obisek has as well. Continue to investigate this matter. If there is a new enemy, we must know who they are and what they want. Until we know more, however, Obisek is on his own. Okay, so we've been told to continue to investigate. We're being held 